All dear YouTubers, uh, thank you for watching. Let's just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to please fill us with your Holy Spirit right now. Everybody who's watching, Father, in the name, just touch them, touch their hearts. Let their hearts be open to receive the word of meekness and the humility. Father, in the name of Jesus, I submit myself to you totally. I do not speak on my own behalf, but I wish to speak your word. So let your words be spoken out of my mouth and Jesus may out of my tongue. Father, in the name of Jesus, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Fill us with your knowledge. Fill us with your wisdom. Fill us with your love. Give us love so we can put love unto others as well. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I ask you to please protect us, guide us, and lead us in all paths. Father, in the name of Jesus, give us, give us that courage to survive in these last days. In Jesus' mighty name. I ask your Holy Spirit to guide us in Jesus my name. And I give you all the praise and all the glory. You receive all the glory. And I am nothing before you that I receive no glory, no nothing. Father, receive all the glory. Jesus, Holy Spirit, receive all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I ask you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> okay, well, uh, today we'll talk about um, manifesting the glory of God as a child of God. Now, as a child of God, we are sons. If you're sons of God, then you are gods with a small g, G-O-D's. Okay, small G-O-D. You're not the Father, you're not Jesus, you're not Holy Spirit, but you're right under there. When troubles come in your way, that's a chance to find out whether you are truly son of God or whether you're, you were with the world having friendship with the devil. Though in these trials, you'll find out who your, who your real, real position will be found out in the, during the trials. If you are the Son of God, you'll be able to come break through all the problems. If you are a child of God, you'll be able to overcome all these problems by the hand of God who will help you with these angels. The angels will listen to you when you call upon them, commanding them in the name of Jesus. They will listen to you and help you out if you are truly the Son of God. Now, you are a Son of God if you believe in the Lord Jesus, baptizing the Holy Spirit, and if you're following His voice, if you're seeking Him, if you're going after the kingdom of God, then you are a Son of God. If you're not, if you're having friendship with the world, entertaining your mind with the worldly things, filling your, filling your heart and body and soul with the activities of the world, then you're not a son of God, but you're a son of the devil, having friendship with the world, which brings enmity against God. And it's all biblical. It's all from the Bible. Jesus does not like people who grab onto the, to the, to the plow and plow the field and then look back into their past. These people are not worthy to be disciples, followers of God. So you make your decision. Whether you want to be fill your, filling yourself with the oil of the Holy Spirit in these last days, or will you be filling yourself with the worldly things that has no oil to burn the fire of God? In order to feel the fire of God that is residing in you, you need to fill yourself with the Word of God, reading the Word of God daily, having knowledge in these last days, not to be deceived, for my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, Hosea 4, 6. And... And they all follow it. And, and I'll reject, Jesus says, I'll reject you, reject you from being priest for me, for you have rejected knowledge. What is this knowledge are we talking about? Not only worldly knowledge, not only the signs of the times, but you must know the Word of God in order for you to not be deceived. But the Christians don't study the Word of God, and they just believe anything that people, if anybody just says, whatever, they just believe it right through. They don't even pray. So they can have no discernment of the Holy Spirit in them to whether discern, you know, firmly with the word of God. Oh, this is not true. Oh, this is fake. Oh, this is not true. That's fake. You have no discernment. You, you believe somebody else's words and then you sometimes reject the true things that are of God as, as they are not of God. Because you do not pray on your own. You don't seek God on your own. You don't read the Bible. But you, you, you're taught by some deceived teachers themselves who taught you false things. Now, my wife had a revelation today uh, about a story of uh, that's just trying to explain certain things. 
and God gave this parable to her. Well, this parable goes like this. Okay, there was a king, a king in a, in a faraway country, and he had a son. The king had a son, but this son was kidnapped. Kidnapped. Okay, and then he was living in this poor countryside, you know, begging for food and eating rotten food and living like a pig. And one day, his, his servant come and find him and tell him, Hey, you are a son of a king. You're not a, some beggar. Come and follow me. And then he, 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 he don't want to let go of this lifestyle because he currently has some food that he gathered and he don't want to throw it away. And he likes the friends that he hang, like to hang out with. You know, he, he likes those things that that, the, that that village provides. He likes that respect that the village provides for him. And he, he likes that their love and their comfort, so he don't want to leave. Let me tell you that parable. We're talking about, you know, most of the Christians who don't know their identity as son of God, who are gods. Let me give you where that comes from. Now the devil came as a thief to steal you from the Father. And he has given you the identity of a beggar, identity of a worldly man, oh, of seeking those worldly things which are chasing after wind, which things will vanish quickly, out of life, no value, and living like a pig, living like a dog, going after the vomit, going after the sinful lust of the world. Now God wants you out. God wants you out of that place. That's what He wants. Now, your, your brain was, your, your, your brain, your, your mind was hijacked by the devil to, to have thoughts in you that are not even of God, that are not, not of you, but of, but of the devil. He brainwashed you daily with the media that he that, that he influenced, the devil influenced. And he's pouring you into trash and garbage into you that you're wasting your time with every day. And if that speaks to you, you know who you are. And he, he the devil even, you know, took over the whole, the, the, he became the ruler of the world and he ruled the worldly things and everything that is in there, everything that they teach is all coming to vanity, wasting of time. Wasting of the kingdom's times when you, as a child of God, as son of God, should be walking as Jesus walked on earth, evangelizing, healing the sick, delivering the poor, you know, helping with love and care, being patient and being diligent. You now become like a dog, living in, living in the world, whatever the world provides. Sicknesses, you know, you're you're sick, and it's like, oh, you don't even, you know, it's just, oh, I guess I'm just sick, you know, I guess that's just me. You know, well, you're a son of God. You're not supposed to be sick. You're not supposed to be poor. You're not supposed to be the tail. You're supposed to be the head. You're supposed to be the child of God, having the light shown into the whole city. You're supposed to be delivering people, healing people, ministering unto people, preaching the word of God, saving the lost, saving the lost people of the world, and not being looked down upon by others. You know? You're supposed to stand firm in the Word of God, but you rejected knowledge. That's why God cannot, you know, you cannot access the things of God because you reject the knowledge of God. You, but you, 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 you welcome the knowledge of the world, but you reject the knowledge of Jesus Christ, God, the only spiritual being. Now this body is only physical thing, but why are you seeking only things of the physical things? This body will waste away. You know it has a time limit. How much time do you have left on earth that you can that you're investing to spend the eternity of heaven? How much time are you investing of your life on earth? Huh? Is 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 your is 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 your is your Lord Jesus Christ or is your Lord the money? Make a choice. Make a choice. Are you gonna live for God totally or are you gonna live for whatever the world provides? Make your choice. Make a decision. Let's read Psalm 82, verse 6. It says, God says this, I said, you are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but you shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, 
for you shall inherit all nations. Now let's see the same thing that Jesus says in John chapter 10, verse 34. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods? If he called them gods, to whom the word of God and the scripture cannot be broken, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, you are blaspheming because I said, I am the Son of God? Because the Pharisees were condemning. Oh, you're blaspheming. You're calling yourself Son of God? And Jesus says, well, you guys are Son of God too. Huh? Don't you even read the Bible, Psalm 82, 6, that, that God called you guys gods? But because you rejected knowledge, you will die and fall, fall like men. Because you you don't know Jesus Christ, you don't know your identity. You live like man, but you're not some some you're not children of men. You're children of God, who are gods. The children of dogs are dogs. The children of pigs are pigs. The children of men are men. But the children of God are gods. Now you you when you believe in the Lord Jesus, you're adopted as child of God, as sons of God. You are adopted. By the, by the adoption of the blood of Jesus Christ, you became, your identity became children of God. Which nothing should be impossible, because if God is walking with you, nothing shall be impossible. But if God is not walking with you, everything is impossible. You either have God with you, and your total will and submission to the will of the Father, just as Jesus' will was submitted unto the Father's will 100%, complete submission unto the Father. You cannot walk like Jesus because Jesus did, the Son does what the Father does. And the Father, what son, son, son does, what the Father wills. But you don't listen to the Heavenly Father. And you don't listen to the Scriptures. You don't, you don't hear the Word of God from, from men of God. But you like to listen to the worldly teachers and the teachers of the law. And that's why you're failing. You don't know who you are. You got to know who you are. Take possession of the authority given to you by God. In the name of Jesus, you bind the dirty demonic spirits because you know who you are. You are a child of God. You are a son of God. When you pray, pray, pray and lay hands on the people, they shall be healed because you are a son of God. But, but you must first be submitted unto the will of God. And doing so, you, you, you would read the word of God if you're submitted unto the Holy Spirit conviction. You would be praying. You, you would have the gifts of the Holy Spirit because as a, and you would be seeking and asking for those things if you do not have it because the Holy Spirit will want you to have them because they are Holy Spirit and they are God and, and the, the Spirit of God is God. The Lord is the Spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is freedom. But why are you rejecting the Holy Spirit? Why are you rejecting the gifts of the Holy Spirit? Because you are not of God. That's why you reject the Holy Spirit gifts. You don't even look for Him. You don't even think you need Him because you're, in a, you're, not, in submitting, you're not in submission to the total will of God. If, if God wanted, uh, if God, God gave the Holy Spirit outpouring to the people of Acts and wanted them to be speaking in tongues, then why would you refuse it? Why are you refusing that, oh, well, it's not for me. Well, are you a child of God, just like them? Do you believe in Jesus? Did, didn't Jesus Christ say to, to, to you guys that those who believe in my name, they shall cast out demons and they shall be speaking in new tongues? Don't you even know the scriptures? Didn't Jesus say that? Are you son of, son of, son of God? Are you, are, are you, is, is your Lord Jesus Christ? Then how come the believers do not have this how come the believers do not seek this? How come the believers do not fast when the bridegroom is already taken away into heaven? Isn't the bridegroom already taken to heaven? Isn't Jesus Christ already in heaven? Then he said, "You said they, then they will fast." Well, well, he's gone. Then you should fast. You should pray. You should seek the Lord, and you should you should wish to walk as Jesus walked on earth. You should seek how. Where am I? Who am I? You should seek your identity in the Lord, in the Word of God, 
and submit your will totally unto God. For that is true submission and true humility. Humble people, it's, it's not that they're acting humble. Oh, I'm so humble, you see, I'm so, you know, don't even speak. That's not, that's not what is humble. Humble is true humility is you submitting unto the will of God saying, Lord, I'm nothing before you. I want to do what you want me to do. Not what people want me to do, but what you want me to, Father. So please, Father, speak unto me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Lead me by your Spirit. And that is the, that is the true sonship. Do you, do you understand? As a, as a child of God, don't be rebellious. Don't be disobedient children of God, whom only the wrath of God is waiting for them. When you mock people, when you, when you laugh at others, the only one who, who you're laughing at is your own self. The only pain who, 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 who's coming is, is unto you, the mockers, the scoffers, the people who, who laugh at the other, other people's sufferings and pains. The, the only one you're laughing at is, is, is yourself. Because those, those laughter will be heard by God, God and God will do according to your laughter. When you look down onto people, the only one you're looking down at is yourself. Because the Lord knows your heart. The Lord knows you're looking down onto those poor people, those beggars, those, those, those whatever sinners you think they are. And the Lord is testing you. Oh, well, are you better than them? Are you truly better than them? Do you not deceive people? Do you not mock others? Do you not treat, mistreat my, my, my cre creations? Do you not mistreat them? I created them and you're mocking them? Then you're mocking me. Then you're mocking the Lord God Almighty. So don't mock them. Don't look them down. Don't jeer at them. Dude, everything, if they're messing up in their life, it's not because of them. It's because of the demons. It's because of devils. If they're suffering under depression, and for sure there are demons all over them. The darkness, like shadows, they're all over them. They're, they, 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 they confiscated their mind totally if they're if they're falling into homosexuality sinful things lust you know the lust of the flesh dude devils are all around them because the spiritual darkness you cannot you cannot be holy and pure in the spiritual darkness because every demons are tempting you left left and right and you have no you have, and those people have no idea first you don't fight against flesh and flesh and blood but you get you fight against the principalities and powers the darkness of the air you fight against those so that's when we bind those dirty demonic spirits in Jesus name and we boldly cast it out we sprinkle the blood of Jesus as Peter said in first Peter by the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ you know you get yourself protected from these things because the blood of Jesus Christ demons hate it devils hate it the whole worldly people don't even know you know, that they are under, they're following the spirit of the world, which is devil. They don't even know. That's why they, they willingly curse Jesus' name. They willingly look down on Christians. They willingly want to trample on, on the people who follow God. And they, they laugh at us. And they, they do every evil, evil thing, you know, mocking us. And then you become ashamed of it, saying, Oh, you can't even say that you're, you're Christian. But if you deny Jesus Christ, you know, if you if you're ashamed of Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of Man, He will also in that day be ashamed of you, and turn your turn turn His face away from you, and you might not even be be in the glory, you might not even you know face the true glory of God, you might not even have that, for He'll be ashamed of you, and you might not even be in the kingdom of God because you're ashamed of Him. If you are ashamed of Him, you must repent. We must repent of all our sins. We must repent of our own, 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 own will, wanting to do our own thing all the time. When we are supposed to submit our will unto the Father, praying, asking the Lord, what is your will? What is your will? Please let your will be done in us. Let your will be done in us. That's how it's supposed to be. Amen? So follow the Lord diligently. Let go of these junk. Let go of these junk that you are eating you know, daily feeding your feeding your mind with the junk of the world. Let go of those, throw those away. Follow the servants of God. Follow the servants of God and go to the kingdom of God and let the kingdom be manifesting on earth as it is in heaven. 
The kingdom is supposed to manifest on earth as it is in heaven. If you don't know who you are, you don't know how to command the angels, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have the authority and the angels won't even listen to you. And if you don't pray, if you don't seek the, seek the word of God and not be filled with the Holy Spirit, you will face a lot of, lot of deep troubles that you cannot get out of. But the righteous man, although he walks through the valley of the darkness, the Lord leads him out into the green pastures. The Lord takes him out of trouble. The Lord takes him out of trials and persecutions of the world. And the, the righteous man prevails through all of them because the Lord has made a way for him. Even though Job, when he was going through all the trials of the devil, you know, he did not curse, curse the Father in heaven. He didn't curse, curse God, even though everybody was telling, telling him curse God and, and, and mocking at him and, and jeering at even his friends coming in and then telling him, hey, dude, you need to repent, you know? You know, something like that. He did not curse the Lord. You got to be like Job. Even though persecution and trials come, you know that the Lord will bring greater, greater uh, things to you and He's just testing you in the testing ground. So pass the test with patience and endurance and pray without ceasing. Why do you think I'm praying? praying in tongues all day long. Do I, am I wasting time? No, I'm not wasting my time. I'm getting filled with the Holy Spirit. When I read the Word, oh yeah, the, the Word word comes alive. And then it's like, oh yeah, that's right. That's what Jesus said. Oh yeah, and then it brings, brings to your heart joy and excitement into your spirit. When you read the God and God gives you revelation, it's just like, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, that's right. I am the Son of God. I am the, I am the child of God. That's right. Don't let the devil lie to you. Don't let the devil lie to your face. And if you keep on falling down and sin, get back up, get back up, get back up. Why are you, why are you dismantling yourself? Why are you, why are you being discouraged and looking in the ground and saying that you're useless? No, don't be deceived by devils. You know, when you do, when you fall into sin, cast out devils more strongly and ask the, for the blood of Jesus Christ and stand firm in the word. Repent again, repent again. As, as long as you're alive, as long as you have breath, you have time to repent. So repent on your knees, be in the floor, be crying or mourning or, or wailing, do whatever, whatever it takes, praying without ceasing in tongues, even, even if you sin, okay? Without ceasing, be in prayer. If you're sad, the Lord says to be in prayer. God says in James, is anybody, is anybody depressed or sad? Let him pray. Is anybody rejoicing? Let him, let him sing songs unto the Lord. We pray songs unto the Lord. Amen? And be comforted under the wing of God who, who, who will give you protection, who will give you strength. Those who are weary and don't have not, nowhere to go. And the gospel was for the, for the weary people, for the poor, for the lost, for the people who do not have future, who are confused. These, this, these people were the gospel because the other people who are, who are kind of well, well, in, in their own thinking, they think they're well off because they have money. No, not, not, not all the time because they might have trouble with their family, with their spouse, with their people, and they always have this lack of peace in their hearts. They're always working, 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 have the thick bag under their, their eyes, even though they might be successful people. They have no joy. They have no peace. They have no real security in their hearts. They're always watching out, watching out, watching out, and worried, 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 and they try to Get, get rid of their stress, get rid of their stress, but the only true peace, the only true peace the Lord can bring, none of the materials that they possess, none of the in entertainments that they have of the world, none of their boats, none of their new cars, none of their airplanes, none of their you know, trip to overseas can fulfill the desire of the heart because the whole is only for Jesus Christ. This was only for Jesus Christ, but yet they, yet they fill their heart with the devil instead, and that's why they have more misery, even though they might have everything. And then they get older and older, and they don't even know where they're going in their in the future. Their 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 future is bleak. They don't they don't even know where they're going when they die. Well, let me tell you, if you don't have Jesus Christ in your heart and the center of of your life, you're not going to heaven. And let me tell you that's true. And there's only two places you can go: heaven or hell. But you're definitely not going to heaven if you don't have Jesus Christ. There is no secondary other way. No, no thief over come, can come over. over uh, only the thief tries to go over the, the fence and come into the kingdom of God. But, but 
he'll be cast out. No, there's no new age method. There's no Buddha that can tell, take you to heaven. There is no Allah that can give you the kingdom of God. Hey, the kingdom of God only be belongs to the Creator. The kingdom of God belongs only to the one who made it, which is, which is the Heavenly Father, with King Jesus, with the Holy Spirit. You know, only by the blood of Jesus Christ, no man can enter the kingdom of God. And Jesus Christ did come in the flesh. If you want to test the spirit, test the spirit. That Every spirit that confesses Jesus Christ came in the flesh to be crucified and to, to be taken up, you know, to be taken, taken up, you know, in, into heaven to take, to take us unto the Lord. You know, to, to forgive our sins by the blood of Jesus. Only the one who confesses Jesus Christ came the flesh. You know, test their spirits. They are of God. And if they don't confess that, then they are not of God. So no, as, no astrology, no fortune teller, no whatever can take you to heaven. And don't even ask them questions because they themselves are deceived by the spirit of the world, the devil power. You know, so they're listening to demons and devils. Of course, they're going to be you know, not telling the truth but lies. You know, and yeah, they might they might try to get something right here and there, but but because they have the network of demons telling them, and it's not of God, it's not of the Holy Spirit, it's not of the angels of God, it's not of the Lord, dude. Don't be deceived. Many people will be deceived. Don't be deceived. Many Christians try to go to some some astrology or try to do Ouija Ouija board. You know, it only brings curse into you. Saul, King Saul, did that, and he got cursed. So don't. Ponder your things on the things of the world, okay? And 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 you know, the the things of the, the worldly things are getting worse. You even seen the 2012 Olympics? You know what I'm saying? You know with the the the, 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 the triangular shapes and the one eye thing, dude. That's just a Illuminati devil devil stuff. You know, satanic organization. You know, Luciferian church. You know what I'm saying? They 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 are behind the the governments. Of many countries, do you believe it or not, dude? They're they're the one who's holding the the country. Those those triangular with the one eye in the middle, the, and the dollar bill back in the dollar bill. It says New World Order in Latin or some other language. The the New Old World or Old World uh the 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 one world the one world government, the what is that the New World Order thing? You know with the triangular ship that's Illuminati with the with the one eye ball and thing, the all seeing eye. The all seeing eye, whatever they 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 the, trying to say the devil sees everything. Dude, devil don't see no everything. God, God's the only one, you know, who who sees everything. And he has two eyes, okay? He don't have no one eye like some cyclops or some some demon, okay? So, <clears throat> so don't don't trust in that. You know, the 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 things of the world is of the devil. Even the Olympics, I'm sad to say that I find that out that that is is of the devil. You know what I'm saying? And I see some spirits, you know, they're trying to like stop this message, but dude, don't be deceived, okay? I, in the name of Jesus, I cover you with the protection of God. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus upon each one of your heads. In Jesus' name, let, your, let the Lord reveal to you who you are in Jesus Christ. Father, let them know their authority, their position in God. Father, in the name of Jesus, let them be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let them be encouraged, Father, in the name of Jesus, if they need to change your life father help them to change your life in the name of Jesus convict them of their sins father in the name of Jesus let them be led by the Holy Spirit as sons of God as child of God as they are gods in Jesus mighty name thank you Holy Spirit thank you father for the word of God hallelujah we give you all the praise and glory thank you Jesus thank you father glory God glory God glory God amen in Jesus name be blessed be blessed amen